guys, welcome back to another edition of the Irish Pantheon. I know I said it was over in the last one, but I have a bonus video for you. Now, everyone, you know, I went through the phases of Morgan. Morgan is a very important goddess in the Irish Pantheon and traditions. Now, we broke her down from her maiden aspect, her, you know, mother aspect, and crone aspect. But to be truthful, Morgan is one. And with all these, um, those three pantheons I did, I went through, combined a lot of names, combined a lot of information, studied, meditated on it, and came up with the best results and accurate results for the true Morgan. Now, here is her titles, alternative names, and spellings. And there will be three parts to this video because she is going to be an extra long goddess. Probably the longest video of a goddess I've done. Blessed be and enjoy the titles, alternative names, and spellings and symbols. Bye. Avalon, ancient wisdom, Lady Morgan of the fairies, will you be lost again in the other world? So many days, so many nights, no sense of place, no sense of time, oh Morgana. So many days, so many nights, no sense of place, no sense of time, oh Morgana. Morgan Lafay, born of kings and queens, ancient powers and ancient mysteries. The fairy people, they were her kin, and when she lost her way, they would take her in. So many days, so many nights, no sense of place, no sense of time, oh Morgana. So many days, so many nights, no sense of place, no sense of time, oh Morgana. Thank you. 
forest flowers and love her mystery. Who would not admire? Who does not adore? Who does not desire? Who wishes to see more? Oh, dark eyes, help me see just what.